I just bring uh, uh, the uh, slides uh, to you and I will uh, try to uh, uh, bring you uh, uh, to um, uh, focus on the European policy, which uh, will be the, um, I think, the relevance uh, uh, for the importance of this uh, uh, gathering today, uh, because we have here um, uh, quite a comprehensive uh, layered um, um, set of policies. So these are, uh, of course, uh, seen at the European level, uh, very detailed, they have history, but we have to speak about the global level at the UN, uh, and also everything goes uh, to the national uh, actors, national policy, and, uh, and uh, that is really uh, to, uh, to, to um, come up uh, with all these uh, framework uh, for uh, 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 correcting the issues uh, with the uh, uh, loss of biodiversity. So there, uh, the UN level uh, activity is uh, quite uh, uh, important. Uh, the Convention of um, uh, Biological Diversity, CPD, uh, and this is really guiding uh, the global protection. Uh, and then uh, we see a layer approach uh, to the uh, countries where they come up with their national uh, strategy and action plans. Uh, and they are, uh, are uh, used uh, to make those uh, commitments at the international level. So we have uh, quite a, uh, an increase in, uh, in, the, in the prioritization of the policies on biodiversity. So this was with the current commission, which uh, will be uh, uh, still a task to deliver a lot, but with the number of targets uh, towards the next decade. Uh, that uh, this uh, activity with the um, uh, biodiversity that Europe uh, comes uh, is uh, uh, to be seen as an also economic uh, value, uh, but also the health, the COVID uh, uh, crisis that we have all uh, went through uh, is uh, also part of that debate. And, uh, and in that regard, uh, we have uh, uh, different measures there. Uh, one is the overall strategy. So there uh, we have uh, that came uh, really during the pandemic uh, uh, two years ago, where we have a number of uh, targets uh, and, uh, and uh, that is uh, to, to push uh, all the European countries uh, uh, to fulfill. And, uh, and there we have uh, concrete legislation, of course. Um, and those are uh, seen in the nature directives. Uh, so this is uh, uh, to, to have uh, the legislation, to, to have um, uh, uh, the possibility to have the protected areas. But uh, also we have uh, from uh, history, the Natura uh, network, where we have uh, a big uh, uh, amount of land uh, uh, to, to, be, uh, to be done. So, and that uh, uh, mapping of the European Green Deal, uh, the overall uh, uh, ambition of this uh, commission, uh, uh, the European Commission, uh, we see the protecting nature as uh, part of that uh, puzzle. And of course, uh, that is always a uh, link uh, to the EU uh, goal of uh, the Green Deal, uh, making uh, the continent uh, uh, climate neutral by uh, 2050. Uh, if, we, if we continue uh, and look a bit more uh, in concrete terms, what the European uh, biodiversity strategy uh, is, um, uh, is uh, really meaning and uh, the actions related to that, uh, we have here a zero pollution action plan. So that is uh, an overall um, 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 plan to, to target uh, uh, all the, uh, um, um, uh, the, the uh, issues that can come from um, uh, the transport uh, sector as well, like uh, the noise, like uh, uh, impact uh, to the water um, uh, and uh, biodiversity. So that uh, uh, action plan is uh, guiding uh, and requiring uh, um, uh, the member states of the EU to, to uh, come up with their um, um, uh, uh, measures uh, to, to tackle that and basically to protect the health of uh, European citizens. So as I said in the previous um, uh, slide, uh, there's uh, uh, the nature uh, directives. So this nature restoration law is a proposal, a legislative proposal that has uh, been uh, proposed by the European Commission and currently being uh, discussed by the European Parliament and the Council for, uh, uh, for uh, uh, agreement of a, of a uh, new legislation. So that is a proposal that came last uh, summer. Uh, we have uh, also a strategy, a communication on the uh, pollinators initiative. Uh, so that's uh, also something quite uh, recent. And uh, as uh, we have been uh, briefly discussing uh, in the um, uh, think tank uh, uh, activity uh, earlier, uh, and uh, I think Yannick briefly mentioned it, uh, there are challenges and uh, one of them uh, is uh, like uh, the sustainable use of pesticide directive, which is currently being proposed uh, to be uh, revised. 
So this is really to make a more sustainable, um, um, uh, uh, sustainable um, um, uh, legislation in Europe, but of course have direct impact on uh, the railway um, uh, infrastructure and how railways are um, maintaining their vegetation. And of course, uh, the, the funding uh, aspects, uh, we have a lot uh, of those uh, goals, but that, that requires really uh, uh, both public money and private money. So EU has uh, the sustainable finance. That's an agenda of uh, UIC Action uh, Week as well. I think towards uh, the conclusion, we will have sustainable financing. And the EU taxonomy, uh, which has been developed uh, to categorize economic actors um, uh, as green or not, have also a dedicated uh, uh, legislation on the environmental objectives and biodiversity is one of them and that work is about to be concluded. If we just move on uh, and uh, maybe uh, to map that uh, the I think the core of the biodiversity strategy of the EU is definitely the protection of nature. Uh, and uh, and very recently, uh, this uh, restore um, uh, restoration of nature uh, through the legislation is uh, also coupled there. So that is really bringing uh, requirements uh, and more uh, uh, more rules, uh, more goals uh, for uh, uh, the national level uh, to to uh, to protect more land uh, to uh, to make uh, that, uh, that change. Uh, of course, we have an enabling activity there, uh, so all the uh, issues uh, related to research, uh, funding, um, uh, those are uh, part of the strategy. And uh, overall, as I said, in the layer approach of the policy, uh, there is, of, of course, uh, the contribution to the uh, global agenda with the UN. So this is a little bit uh, similar to what we see with the climate uh, uh, goals, with the Paris Agreement, its implementation. There is uh, this kind of a parallel agenda, which is quite linked to the climate uh, crisis uh, and the biodiversity. And uh, I will come up more towards uh, the conclusion uh, words, but uh, the relevance, of course, because uh, a lot of things I have mentioned maybe are too high level. But uh, as I already hinted, uh, the infrastructure we have, uh, and I think Yannick made that 99% uh, uh, of that infrastructure is existing. There are more to be done because Europe has uh, a lot of goals for the developing the railway uh, businesses, railway network that's part of the uh, uh, the contribution to the EU Green Deal, uh, then you need, uh, of course, more infrastructure as well uh, in the near future. But these are, of course, overlapping with the nature uh, areas. Uh, and uh, that's actually an uh, issue to be addressed uh, properly. Uh, but overall, we see, of course, rail system uh, as such, uh, very land use efficient. Uh, so this is when we compare to the road uh, uh, network, which is uh, millions of kilometers in Europe. Uh, rail will be uh, definitely the, the mode to be uh, choose for those long distances. And of course, it has this added value of providing ecologic corridors. So this is uh, something I think we should be keep uh, reflecting uh, the, in, during the discussions uh, today. Uh, on the uh, invasive uh, alien uh, species, uh, railways, uh, of course, uh, have their uh, important role when uh, we are controlling the vegetation. Uh, this is uh, necessary also for the safety of the rail operations, uh, but of course, uh, with that, uh, we are providing some value, I think, to the, uh, to the nature there. And then uh, when we look at, as I said, uh, to the, the sustainable finance agenda, rail is clearly a mode uh, uh, fully included in, uh, in the European taxonomy. It has to, of course, contribute a lot to the climate. Uh, that's the main goal of railway. Uh, that's uh, how uh, it's been defined. But at the same time, uh, do not uh, have any significant harm to the other environmental objectives. So that's uh, part of uh, the message I wanted to give, uh, the relevance to all those things. Maybe a few words on the green infrastructure. Uh, so that's um, uh, how I can interpret uh, directly as uh, the rail infrastructure is that uh, it uh, has important role in terms of the climate um, aspects, uh, environment footprint. Uh, it uh, has to play this role of minimizing. So rail uh, infrastructure needs to uh, be adapted to that. And there uh, take all these necessary actions, which are part of those um, impact assessments uh, that happens uh, with the new projects, but also to watch out for the existing ones uh, that uh, need to, uh, to tackle the habitat uh, uh, issue, and it's also added value uh, to that. So there are a few uh, bullets I have uh, listed here uh, on the vegetated rail beds, uh, the noise barriers, uh, which is another subject of the UIC uh, gathering uh, this week, 
eco tunnels, uh, bridges, um, and of course, link of rail uh, to the active mobility. And uh, very recently, an important uh, aspect uh, with the energy crisis that we all go through, uh, the renewable energy uh, potential that uh, can, uh, rail can uh, bring to deliver, of course, zero emission mobility, but also the, the land that is uh, connected to railway uh, or the, uh, the buildings uh, and the, uh, the fleet. Uh, and having that uh, uh, in this uh, regard is a green uh, infrastructure and the importance of those investments. Uh, what we have, of course, currently, uh, the, the agenda for CR in Brussels is that we have uh, these uh, policy proposals that came uh, from the strategy of the Commission and nature restoration law, uh, which is currently uh, progressing uh, with, uh, with the Environment Committee, where uh, they are uh, commenting on the Commission proposal, uh, is initially causing some uh, worry for, uh, for the sector. Uh, the fact that uh, uh, the policy coherency is there not very much clear. So that's why I have made the point in these comments that uh, we should really have the protection of nature. So there's nothing uh, against that. But we have, of course, those decarbonization objectives uh, and the um, uh, energy and transport infrastructure is very uh, crucial there. And uh, I think uh, the, 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 the coherent uh, policy with also the existing uh, uh, directives is a uh, must and any new legislation there really needs to uh, watch out for the railway um, uh, system because uh, we have to really uh, play this important role. Uh, another word on the sustainable use of plant protection products. Uh, so this is really important uh, to, to uh, further um, improve railway um, uh, vegetation control uh, with uh, uh, phasing out of the uh, pesticide. Uh, so to have these uh, non-chemical um, conventional methods so that uh, legislation will be essential, but at the same time uh, really uh, um, facilitate that kind of transition uh, without really simply banning uh, uh, even uh, using those cleaner uh, ones uh, because rail uh, uh, infrastructure at the end is uh, 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 quite maybe not known uh, to those um, of the commission services unfortunately then they come up with their proposals so those are the points uh, which uh, currently CR uh, is uh, addressing of course, we have uh, quite uh, opportunities because, as I said, uh, the targets there are for a uh, uh, better future for rail. So uh, then it means uh, railway uh, needs to, um, uh, to continue uh, growing. And at the same time, uh, the, uh, uh, the land uh, uh, impact uh, will need to be properly addressed. So rail uh, has to also communicate uh, on the existing uh, knowledge uh, and uh, also the things that are uh, now progressing with different uh, research uh, that UIC also plays this role uh, and uh, and we have to also maybe look a little bit on the uh, overall crisis that we have uh, on the delivery of this EU green deal carbon capture um, and the uh, the nature uh, the trees uh, the forest uh, uh, can play this role and uh, and uh, and at the same time uh, maybe put uh, these topics a bit more uh, strategy uh, in the management of companies uh, with the proper business cases and uh, and benefit uh, at the end overall uh, of course uh, the funding will be quite essential not only building infrastructure but making it uh, resilient making it uh, uh, play an important role in the um, habitat uh, and biodiversity uh, protection and there uh, we should also have uh, that in the, in the in the picture so this is uh, my contribution to the debate happy to have some exchanges uh, on particular things thank you.